my goal is to try to get people who can't understand where we're coming from, where where, where you see what's going on in the world right now. <laughs> I, I panicked a little bit. <laughs> hey man, it brings back brings back the old days. But I was always ready to go. Like, uh, anytime you show up to the party with this, it better be. Yo, what up? How's it going, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Minimies Podcast. Yo. We're back again. Uh, we got Travis back with us. Hello. Uh, repeat. He's like a fill-in now. So. Travis has become a staple on the show. Yeah. Um, mainly because he's sharp and likes to bite paper. Yeah. <laughs> Don't we all? Anyway, that was a corny joke, so the way to start the show. Um, anyway, uh, as always, guys, it's a pleasure to be here. I'm sincerely happy to be here with you both. Um, I, wanted to, I wanted to start the show off with a little... Uh, a little nod to you both, um, especially James. Um, for I mean, we're what is this episode forty five? I believe, um, and you know, man, you haven't missed a, one of them. So forty five straight for this guy. Um, fucking great job, man. Mm-hmm. Um, sin- <laughs> I'm sincerely just appreciative of the, the opportunity to be here to be doing something like this. Um, I'm glad, Travis. This is number three for you. Yeah. No. I'm um, same. Welcome. Yeah. Yeah, I remember number three. I probably was. Oh, I remember number three. Oh, number three was vividly, bad. <laughs> vividly. Oh my god, I don't remember it. I remember mm. hearing about it after. Yeah, like, yeah, all right. The repercussions. So, Travis, get ready to fucking go to the Looney Bin, man. I hate, man. I'm, I'm, I'll, <laughs> I'll meet you there. <laughs> number th- yeah, three. Three makes you. Yeah, three is. Yeah. Three is now. <laughs> are you in or you out? I, you know okay, I mean? fair dude. enough. He's had three different hairstyles since I'm he's up come. For the challenge. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah, dude. All right. I shed my winter coat. There it is, mm-hmm. dude. Just like the the sheep you are. That's right. Uh, that was, that was kind of an insult. Yeah, I'm gonna. That, was, that joke was bad. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch. That was not rehearsed, by the way. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. Quick wit. That was well Quick done. Quick wit. Uh, Travis, that's why he's here again, man. This yeah. guy's good. That's a pleasure to have you both. Thank you. Um, and uh, as you guys know, uh, Kenneth Means is taking the full, <laughs> full effect right now. <laughs> Kidding. Anyway, guys, you know, you know what we like to start with, you guys. I'm assuming if this is your first time, um, here's a little introduction. We like to start off with what we call whiskey time, where that, we like to review whiskey, right? Get in the pocket. And Always got to get in the give pocket. you guys some good recommendations as we go on this whiskey train. Uh, I think we got a ride tonight. I think this is a ride. If I'm not mistaken, if, if I, I yeah, well, give it away. The name? Uh, you know what? Reading the, what Tem- Templeton Rye. Templeton Rye. We got Templeton Rye for you guys, man, and uh, he's back for the first time, and uh, that's always a good thing. Uh, and I just like to state that this is the good stuff. Mm, fair mm. enough. Um, right there on the bottle. You know, man, I. We, is that a doctor giving it to kids? Like that's medicine? him. That's him giving the elixir. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? I imagine yeah. back in those days, this was like the elixir. It's like, a cure all. It dude, looks very. Uh, is your religious. fucking is your foot falling off? It was <laughs> easy. It was easy to be a doctor back in the day. Yeah, dude. You just prescribed whiskey and cocaine. Yeah, right. You got ghosts in your blood. You should drink about it. <laughs> <laughs> Get real high and then have a few drinks, yeah, yeah. man. You have a blast. Straight from Iowa too. Mm. Small, Iowa. It says small town, strong spirit. So they're trying, probably trying to bring the spirits out mm. of you. Yeah, that's right. what it is. Right? This is what they call these spirits. Mm. Spooky. I don't know. Anyway, man. So that's so. This is a Templeton Rye. This is another rye whiskey. It's ninety five percent rye, five percent barley. Um, I think a little something James brought to the table a couple weeks ago was that you'd want to have a higher rye content. You know what I mean? That'll that'll give you. A, a, we would. We would. I, I do apologize. Everyone uh, has their own unique uh, palates. Um, it seems where our palate lies is a little more with a heavy rye content. Um, and you know, it's more of a spice factor mm-hmm. when it's lower, less, it's more of a sweeter. Yeah. I was just going to say less of that, like syrupy sweetness. Right. Right. Um, so what do you guys got this for presentation? Yeah. Where are you guys sitting at there? I oh, mean, let me state too. This is aged four years. Just just to throw that out there. It looks like the kids he's giving it to in that picture are about four years old too. So. That could be a uh, double entendre. I thought it was the Blues Brothers. Oh, uh, from, I mean, what I, from what I was looking at here, I don't know. Enough. I don't know how well you guys can make that out, yeah. but I was like, oh shit, the Blues Brothers were drinking this back in the day. Mm-hmm. I thought it was a group of doctors <laughs> from Iowa back in the day. You're probably, you're probably. Right. You know what I mean? I don't think you wear a white lab coat unless you're a doctor back in the day, <laughs> or a dentist, or a barber. Barbers used to be the dentist. This might be barbers. Yeah. yeah, perhaps but they're all wearing hats though. It's not a good marketing. Sp- not marketing <laughs> scheme. Yeah, yeah, you got to bleach your beard if you want to be a barber. <laughs> Okay, well, a presentation, I think the rise tend to fall on that rustic side. I mean, yeah. th- this one's not very different uh, from the last ones. Very uh, rustic with the labeling, right? You got you got the actual label on there. It's kind of like cut out. 
just slapped looked, on there. It looked like they tore it, like, you know, when, like, you're, like, fucking in a rush to get your coupons to go to El Pollo Loco. You know yeah. what I mean? That's what it looks like. <laughs> I like this. I like the wooden top. I mean, that's a, that's a nice little touch to it. It's, it's more of a stout bottle. Short, stout. Chode. Yeah. The color's nice, though. I like the color of it. Yeah. yeah the whiskey does have a nice uh, color, as far as that goes. Um, a little honey-ish. Yeah. I, I could dig that. Um, you know, I saw something too, man. You know, if you leave it out longer, if you just left this cup sitting here for 128 days, for just to throw a number out, it would actually get lighter. Oh, in color? Yeah. Interesting. Very interesting, right? Yeah. I don't know why. Oxidation? Probably. It's just a word. Yeah. It's just a word. <laughs> <laughs> it's science. Yeah. <laughs> Drinking is a science. <laughs> yeah. That's what it is. We did the we did the research, mm-hmm. so trust yeah. me on that. <laughs> Um, price point, man. So this bottle is going to set you back about $35. Not bad. No, honestly. I mean, well, we'll find Banks out, won't we? But yeah, $35, that's a pretty reasonable. It's pretty reasonable. Um, we, yeah. we, we came way lower on the end this time. So look, my thing is this. Like, I, I like to hang out with people a lot of times, right? So when we do this here, I'm, I'm usually like, hey, you know what? I'll spend a little more. I know, you know, we're going to drink it. We're going to enjoy it. We're not going to take shots of it. We're going to, you know, we're going to kind of... Appreciate it. Yeah, appreciate what we have here. This this price range here, not to say necessarily the quality of it. We haven't gotten there yet. We're going to try this for the first time pretty soon here. But I'd say the quality of it uh, or the price point of it is what would dictate me to be like, hey, this is something if I know I'm going to hang out with a big group of people, I don't mind taking this bottle there. I don't care what you do. You can pour it out for the homies. Do whatever you want. It's all good, Mm -hmm. you know? So that's just my take on that. Yeah, no, you're right, because it it sucks if you bring, like, a nice bottle to a party. And not that you don't want to share it with people, but it's uh, disappointing when they're taking shots of it or not, you know, not appreciating what it is, um, you know, because ultimately you can't be mad at them. They're using it what it's intended for, and that's, you know, to get in the pocket. But you would hope that with a nicer bottle, like, people would appreciate it more. So Right, right. I I get what you're saying. So, yeah, $35. If you can enjoy it and, you know, don't mind bringing it to the party, like, that's a good price point, I would say. Yeah, and we had some on the lower end that were very good. Mm -hmm. Right. So, I mean, it's not out of the question that you find a bargain. So maybe we're bargain shopping right now. Yeah. Hunting, bargain hunting. Yeah. So. I'm, yeah, I'm not Let's a man. Let's find out. It. Let's, uh, so, <laughs> let's into the nose. Taste, hit the nose on that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hello. 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 And how are you? Oh, it, it feels like this time around the smell is a little <laughs> lighter than I was gonna. That's why I said hello. Like, is anyone there? I'm hello. not really getting a whole lot. Hello. I think. Yeah. I mean, I'm getting a little bit of. I don't know what it is, but though. This seems familiar. Mm. You know what I mean? It just seems like it seems like I've been here before. Mm. Like deja vu. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's very light on the nose, though. Yeah, for sure. Very light on the nose. It's it a, is. It's a little sweet. Yeah. And we get a little sweet scent on it coming off of there. Maybe like a little... Uh, like a persimmon? <laughs> you know? <laughs> I was maybe. thinking a little, maybe a little cinnamon. I was getting more like caramel sweetness off of it. Myself. Yeah, because, you know, cinnamon has a little spice. Maybe not. Maybe persimmon. Yeah, just like a no. little tint. Maybe of... molasses. Mm. That's too much. That's too far. <laughs> a little maple syrup. Too far. Okay, persimmon it is. <laughs> it smells like uh, pomegranate soap, like hand soap. <laughs> just, this is from Bed Bath & Beyond. Just, I just splashed it all over myself, so. Mm. Yeah. All yeah. right, well, I mean, it's light on the nose. I mean, I can't really pick up too much of the flavors there. And it's Bath & Body Works. That's the hot and shit. My bad. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm not. I'm not even <laughs> smelling like the sharp note of whiskey. I'm. I'm getting very yeah. minimal. No notes. alcohol. But yeah, yeah, it's really it's, subdued. It's, it's making me want to give it a try. Yeah, mm. well, let's, let's go do it. Can we jump in? Uh, yeah. Sure can. All right. Cheers, Cheers guys. Cheers, Pleasure. And here we go. That's unique. That's very unique. Yeah, that's one way to put it. It is unique. Like from the minute it touches your tongue, it has that weird, it has that same smell, but in a taste form. I don't know why I'm getting this corn flavor with it. I'm getting corn. Creamed corn. Creamed mm. corn. Straight out of the can. You like creamed corn though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Who doesn't? I will say, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I will say that because it is like a, a 95% uh, rye, mm-hmm. I, I thought it'd be a lot more spicy. But mm. my favorite part of the drink happens to be the finish, where, where there's Same. a little spice where it kind of just lingers there. 
But up for everything before that, it's not really my my taste. I don't really care for it as much. And I don't know how to really. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know. I, I don't know why I got corn because it shouldn't be corn. No, right? No, not at yeah, all. Yeah. Right. And and yet, it's, I'm I'm like it's feels, rye and barley. Yeah. Where am I getting corn from? I I don't know. I just felt corn. There was a know, joke I told earlier that's lingering on my tongue. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you should see a doctor. That's the first time know. I've been told that. Yeah, I don't know how I it, feel about this. It's one. kind of hard to describe, right? Like the the flavor up front, it's uh, I don't know. It's like a blend of everything. It, I can't really pinpoint anything that like uh, stands out uh, as being good or even bad. Honestly, it yeah. just it kind of just has like a weird. Uh, it this is what I imagine like a generic whiskey would taste like. Like if a thirty five dollar rye. If you just walk up to a bar <laughs> and you're like, one alcohol, please. <laughs> this is what they would give you. Well, you know, you, you say <laughs> that's it. You say thirty five dollar rye, but the the lot forty was like forty bucks. Yeah, it, it was, was like five dollars more. Right, and I yeah. I wouldn't that say that that was that was much far better. better yeah, I, yeah, I'd agree with you. The yeah. profile, the flavors, everything mm-hmm. about it, I thought was much better. And even the color, like looking at the bottles there, like the coloring, like. You got a little darker, like almost more of a red tint, whereas yeah. this Templeton is, like you said, like more like a honey color. Well, I mean, and this uh, Lot 40 was Canadian, mm, right? So, true. I mean, they don't have the same restrictions. Right, right. So maybe there's a process because this is from Very Iowa. Yeah. yeah. So maybe they had different things they had I'm to sure. adhere to, and it's mm. only four years. Mm, true. I don't know if they, they even care to get well, some of that so, flavor into but it. But because it's whiskey... Well, is it four years? It has to be aged in barrels, right? In the oak uh, oak barrels. Two years. Two years. Okay, so minimum two years. Oak barrels. Can, can, Canada doesn't have the same rules, so who knows? Yeah. That could play. Like you said, very good point. Very, yeah. very good point. That could. Um. So, what's the alcoholic uh, alcohol con- uh, content on that one? If you would forty. Forty percent. So pretty light. It's on the yeah. lighter spectrum of things. And the uh, lot forty was forty three percent. So a little stronger, which is hmm, interesting. I yeah. guess. I think our palate here typically goes with the stronger. Yeah. I mean, at least the flavor is strong. Yeah. Right? I mean, we care for that. I mean, we get smacked sometimes by some heavy stuff, but the flavor is what we're really trying to target in this tasting. Mm-hmm. I'm not getting I'm not getting anything I like initially. So my initial thought is I wish Ken didn't pour me so much mm. <laughs> for this particular <laughs> tasting because I would have switched up the bottle real quick. But I, the only thing I do like is the finish because it's yeah. it's there. It's, it's that it's, spice is there. Yeah, and it just lingers. It's and but it's not as spicy. No, but I'm glad it's there. Yeah, because yeah. everything before that is not very right at pleasurable. Least, at least for yeah, me. at least there's something that we can like grab onto because otherwise the, the whole thing is just like yeah, meh. Yeah, it, I mean it's not it's not the greatest. It's also not the worst. Like I wouldn't mind I, this yeah. over like a Jack Daniels or something. This yeah. this. I'm going to describe it in a way that my friend James here has described several things before. Smooth? Very middle of the road. Okay. Oh, yeah. Very middle of the road. Yeah. It's not bad. It's not this good. Is, this is the definition of yeah. that for This is like, yeah, yeah like, like Travis said, you know, like, like give me a whiskey and Coke. Mm-hmm. And like this interchangeable with anything else that you plugged in, really. Right. You know right. what I mean? Like, yeah. Okay. So I guess that's the best way we could describe it is it's fairly bland. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like there's nothing that stands out one way or the other, good or bad. Mm-hmm. I think it still has a unique taste up front, though. I don't I don't know what it is. It's the rye, I'm assuming. It's got to be the rye. It's got to be the rye. We don't do a lot of rye. But it just it just has a flavor. Like This was your traditional uh, like bourbon, I think, in, in, the same, you know, like in the same middle of the road category. It wouldn't stand out at all, I imagine, to you. Yeah. yeah I, I just think maybe it's the rye, but... There's like it's lacking the spice with the the entire drink. Right. I'm not getting any of that spice, so it's like you get this weird, I guess, rye flavor. Templeton, huh? Yeah. Fucking rat. Mm. Yeah, I, I I don't remember ever having this before. Yeah, I I this would be a shock if I ever found out that I've tasted this before because yeah, it, I could swear. I've never but then this again, before. it's so middle of the road that I could see somebody making the mistake of accidentally getting you know getting it twice. Two of these, yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. It yeah. might happen. Yeah, let's jump into the rating then. <laughs> yeah, so it makes, let's, let's rate this again. Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna jump into mine uh, real quick. Uh, I'm gonna say a five because I stated it is very middle of the road, and five is as middle as you can get. I'll go ahead and uh, echo that sentiment you know, for the same reasons. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, I'm gonna drop this one down to a four. Mm. I think it's not enjoy. You fucking would. I don't know. No, no, no. Because up. because it's not pleasurable. Uh, like the once it hits, like the smell is not that great. Because there's not much there, so it's not a bad smell. But then you get to the flavor, and as soon as it hits your tongue, it's the same note. Mm-hmm. And then you only get the spice. So it, to me, it's it's not even like, give me the barrel. Give me something yeah. else yeah. other than the rye. Mm-hmm. 
give me more spice and I'll give you the five. But for me, it's a four. So that's a 4.3 average rating um, for the Templeton Rye guys. Four. That ain't fair well. That's sub middle of the road. That's sub middle of the road. Uh, sub par, if you yeah, would. Sub par. Um, wow. wow. It's been a while since we hit this point. Yeah, it's been a while since we had this bottle, but you know what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a damn shame this had to be the one. <laughs> you know what I mean? But the, the, right. be, the best part about it is it's it's good sharing it with you guys. Yeah, likewise. It, yeah, it's good to get in the pocket, and we're gonna get there. And I agree, man. And if anything, I think it's a, a it's a nod to how we've kind of become a little more sophisticated within and expanded our palates a little bit yep. to try some other things. So. Um, if you know, you know, and if you do, hit us up. Let us know that you know. And if you don't, you know, get with the times. I, I don't want to tell you. It's twenty twenty one. All right, man. So I think I think that'll conclude our whiskey time. Yep. Thank you guys as always for listening, man. We appreciate it. If you guys were are interested in rye, or if you love this rye, and maybe we're doing it wrong or something, maybe we need to add water or some ice or heat it up or fucking add throw it own, away. Add our own cinnamon. <laughs> Yeah, if yeah. It, bring yeah. a little piece of the barrel and dunk it in there a little bit. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> you know? and I mean, if you guys enjoyed uh, w- this whiskey time, make sure you guys check out the other whiskey times. Uh, maybe episode eleven, whatever. Yeah. Uh, if you want to check out other ones, just follow the journey with us because we hey, hey. we grew episode eleven. Eleven. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So uh, yeah, that's gonna wrap it up. Yeah. Thanks, guys. <laughs>